It's the number one health reason that keeps people from doing their jobs, back pain. But many people are getting back on their feet thanks to revolutionary surgery. Welcome doctors William Hunter and Stephen Gudeman from Neuroscience and Spine Center of the Carolinas. Thank you gentlemen for being here today. We appreciate it. Thanks, uh, Let's start with you, Dr. Gudeman. How prevalent and common is back pain? Uh, well, it's incredibly prevalent. Eight out of 10 people will have back pain. But a lot of it is because we don't take care of ourselves. I mean, two big things, and, and we're gonna see some food stuff here in a little bit, but piling on those pounds year after year. Mm -hmm. I had a poor uh, young woman come in the other day and she had back pain, working person, and she weighed 450 pounds. Now why does she have back pain? Or another thing is posture. I mean, like, you look great sitting there with your legs crossed. That's the worst kind of posture you can have. So, yes, you know, we need to be more upright, All right, sit then. there, take care of ourselves. Judgy pants. And we should have a back care program, you know, where you have a religion for taking care of your back. Stretching, strengthening, ambulation, losing weight, mm -hmm. those are all important. Yes, I do. But when those things fail, then we have some incredible surgery that can be done. Thank goodness for people yeah. like you. Yes. Um, how costly and time consuming, though, is it for people to be out of work? I mean, that's the other thing. People are missing work because of this. Oh, yeah. Number one reason for being out of work. Yeah. You know, and that comes before colds, flus, and that sort of thing. Number mm -hmm. three is headaches. But number one is back pain. Neck is it, pain. Back is it pain. mostly lower back? More low back, but it, you bend back, neck as well. And it can be with or without arm pain. And that's why having that program where you take care of yourself, because typically what happens, we'll see a patient, they'll get better. Mm -hmm. And they'll relapse because they stop taking care of themselves. Okay. Um, Dr. Hunter, talk about advances in back surgery. As we mentioned, Dr. Goodman mentioned, there's some things that you can do. Try losing weight, try other things. Um, when those things fail, back surgery is certainly an option. And there are so many advances. Sure, Colleen. I mean, one, once we get through all the treatments, and if they fail the conservative treatments, and there are th things that are still going on, the back pain, leg pain, uh, there are other things we can do. And there's certainly some revolutionary surgeries that we can perform, now minimally invasive, uh, safer for patients. Mm -hmm. um, less risk as well with these surgeries now, correct? No question. When, when we're performing the surgeries, we're talking about the minimally invasive operations uh, where it'll take less time in the operating room, less risk, uh, the time in the hospitals shorter, less pain medications needed after surgery, able to get back to work or able to get back to doing the saxophone like Eugene earlier. <laughs> and it really can be a lifesaver. Talk about the, the spacer that goes into the spine. It's customized for each patient. That is exactly right. Every disc is different. Your disc is different from mine, different from Dr. Gudeman's. And whenever we can get into that disc space, we can actually then customize a disc space uh, properly so we can actually take care of the problem. It's all about relieving pressure off of the nerves. Very good. Thank you so much for your information and your time today. For more information, you can call Neuroscience and Spine Center of the Carolinas. The number, it's there on your screen. Grab a pen and a piece of paper. It's 704-864-5550. Again, 704-864-5550. You can also go to neuro-carolinas.com, neuro-carolinas.com. Dr. Hunter, Dr. Gudeman. There you go. <laughs> Nice to have you. Thank you so much. You're Back to my old habits die hard. <laughs> old habits die hard. That's good though.